James walks out the door to go to school and looks up at the trees and the light shining down. He really is just a, a fabulous child with an amazingly sunny disposition. James just had his 10th birthday and he can't speak, doesn't understand what people say to him. We all wish he was a typical kid and could do all of those things. With 100 patients here, 200 patients there, when you add them all up, it's millions of children that are affected by these diseases. And most of those people are going down these long roads of you know, two, four, nine years like us to find a diagnosis and don't have a lot of places to turn where there is that kind of expertise that's housed within TGEN. We'd never actually seen James in the clinic, which is a pretty remarkable situation. Here you have a child that has a serious genetic disorder, and you're able to make the diagnosis from out of state. That yellow. For us, a starting point is a laundry list of challenges and ailments, and so we look at some of the types of diagnostics a child has had immediately, very, very much within the first few hours of having the data. It was clear this was, this was different found is that he has a mutation in a potassium channel, which is of course why it not only affected his neurological system, but other systems in his body. It's this KC and Q2 mutation, understanding that the neurons in his brain are misfiring. That certainly helps us with his day-to-day -day and teaching him, but also work with TGen to help identify other children that might have this disorder, and that would allow us to have the critical mass of patients that might be able to support a real research effort. Even the best institutions usually are only able to identify maybe 25% of these difficult cases they get. TGen's 40% is considered incredible. One of the things that we pride ourselves on in, with the Doran Center for Rare Childhood Disorders is that while we may not be specialists in every single gene where we find mutations, we can help families connect to those specialists around the world and help them get involved in future research that inevitably may lead to a treatment option and a cure.